A grandfather says a false accusation sent him to the Harris County Jail where he was sexually assaulted. The man is suing two business, uh, Sunglass Hut and Macy's. He claims that the store leaders inappropriately used artificial intelligence identifying him as a thief. KPRC 2's Rowan Belogan is in Montrose tonight near where this all started. The 61 year old's lawsuit claims that he was wrongly accused of holding up employees at the Sunglass Hut, then ransacking the location. He alleges the employees there used bad AI to connect him to the crime. So we are going directly to experts to explain to us how the technology works. Security expert Mick Thompson with ASAP Security Services said when you leave your home, you should assume you're being recorded, especially at large events. All right, so we are going to test out the tech here itself. So I'm getting my picture here scanned. So it's finding me on the pictures that you found online on Click to Houston's website, and it's positively identifying that's me who just walked up to the screen. Your facial structures don't change, even though as you age. It takes mathematical measurements. Everybody's face is different. And there's measurements from your nose to your chin, between your eyes, the whole thing, and it creates a footprint or a fingerprint as, a, as, I, as um, I guess as a reference of your image. You've given me a hat and a mask. Absolutely. What are we doing here now? So you're going to put you can you're welcome to put the hat and the mask on mm -hmm. or one or the other mm -hmm. and run through the recognition reader and see if it identifies you. Just even walk though past you're, it or stand in front just, of it? You don't have to stand just walk past it. To see if it'll positively identify Yeah you me. briefly walk up to it like you're walking through the door and okay. that's on the door jam. All right. I'm just gonna walk on past and then look on the screen there. If you can see on the screen with the mask and the hat, it still positively identifies to my picture on Click to Houston's website, even as I'm trying to be discreet. So even though you've obscured your features and put a hat on and a mask, but we had a good reference video, a, an image, a good reference image, you walk through, it's still, uh, recognized you as being you. So what is it looking for at that point? My face is covered. It's, How does it know it's, it's taking me? what is visible? So your dimensions on your eyes, the bridge of your nose, the dimension between your eyes, your forehead and such was still visible. So it used that as a 99% chance the positivity of the doubt. When it comes to the lawsuits and the allegations made there, Houston Police Chief Troy Finner said he's deeply concerned by the allegations and that the department is looking into it. Reporting from Montrose, Roman Belogan, KPRC 2 News. All right, Wilwan, thank you. We want to get now to new developments involving the Santa Fe High School mass shooting. Doctors say the former student charged with murdering eight classmates and two educators remains incompetent to stand trial. 